Despite howls from troglodyte critics, new British Prime Minister Liz Truss must not only stick to her pro-growth economic agenda, but should go further by implementing early next year a virtual flat tax. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. The jeers that greeted Prime Minister Liz Truss's minor tax cut proposals glaringly exposed the utter lack of economic enlightenment of so many of today's policymakers. Instead of retreating, she should double down. Britain's economy is a basket case, with prospects even more dismal than troubled Italy's. The country's consumers are being slammed with rapidly rising energy costs, thanks in large part to the government's massively expensive alternative energy schemes that included discouraging North Sea oil and gas production, an approach Vladimir Putin, of course, applauded. Truss's predecessor wanted to pile on more taxes on this overtaxed country. Most of what Truss proposed was sensibly eliminating those tax hikes. Now, the naysayers hope the searing criticism she's been subjected to will inhibit her from ever pushing pro-growth policies in the future, particularly cuts in tax rates. Such reticence, however, will guarantee future misery from a stagnant economy. Next April, the government traditionally introduces a new budget in Parliament. The occasion is treated with considerable fanfare over there. Truss and Kwasi Kwarteng, her Chancellor of the Exchequer, which is the equivalent of our Treasury Secretary, should turn the table on taxes big time. Most people there are in the 20% tax bracket, what is called the standard rate. You reach the standard rate after an exemption of about $14,000. At the equivalent of $55,000 of taxable income, the marginal rate doubles to 40%. In the U.S., by contrast, $55,000 of taxable income finds a married couple in the 15% bracket. While a number of nations have enacted the single-rate flat tax with success, such a change in the current environment in Britain is impossible. So Truss and Quartang should do the next best thing. They're already cutting the 20% to 19% of the standard rate. They should also, however, double or triple the bracket to, say, $165,000. In addition, they should also make it clear that that ban will be substantially expanded in future years. This way, they can get a flat tax in all but name. Truss and Quartang understand what all too many economists have forgotten, if indeed they ever knew it, that taxes are a price. The tax on income is the price you pay for working. Tax on capital gains, the price you pay for the risks that work out. The tax on profits, the price you pay for success. If you lower the price of those good things, you'll get more of them. Raise the price, you'll get less of them. So simple. Hundreds of years of experience prove this repeatedly, time and time again. Yet sadly, it is ignored time and time again. For a while, the government of Truss and Quartang will be alone. But events, unfortunately hard events, will give them more and more company, including eventually the United States. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again. Oh.